here are Beredo fragrances that are actually worth the money and I'm going to rank them from number 10 till my number one. Three, two, one, let's do this. This is a perfume channel, so if you love smelling great, subscribe to this channel and let's jump to the brand of Bayredo. And Bayredo is very popular. I think it's become popular because it's everywhere on Instagram. At least I see it everywhere on Instagram. And I remember my fascination with the brand and I've always wanted to own a bottle. Uh, and that's how it started. I started smelling all of them all the time and then started buying them. I think some of them are definitely worth the hype and some others are maybe not worth the hype at all. Let's start with my number 10 on this list. It's Blanche. And to me, Blanche, it was the first Bayredo that I really loved. Since then, I've progressed and I feel like there's other fragrances that I like more. But Blanche was so amazing to me because it's such a likable, clean scent. Blanche smells like fresh laundry. It's a very simple scent, but to me, it smells expensive still tad bit artificial that's why it's on the 10th spot but when you wear it for a while it becomes more like your skin and it just smells clean and if I want a fragrance that smells like not a fragrance basically I would wear this and I like it because sometimes I find that fragrances can just be too nauseous for certain occasions or just too much with this is a scent but it kind of takes a back seat and you can stand out it's not like the fragrance is speaking for you if you know what I mean and there's tons of laundry clean scents but I think many of them smell really really cheap whereas this one has managed to have some class in this fragrance. So I like that one. Okay, number nine is Bibliothèque. And this fragrance I love, but I must admit that I do prefer it in a candle than in a fragrance. I think it's such a stunning scent. It really smells like an a old library with um, yellowed pages, books and leather seats that also have been there quite a while. It smells a bit dust even, uh, a bit fruity. I just love that scent but to me it's a bit too cloying and too dusty to wear or when I smell it on other people I think oh it's great but it's a bit, I just do prefer it in a candle so I would say this is a great scent if you like leathery, quite dusty and dense scents that fill the room. This one is really amazing, but I do think it smells quite mature. So maybe if you're a more mature person, then you might want to wear this scent. Uh, and it's better in like a home fragrance to me. Number eight is a newer release and it's Young Rose. And guys, I don't like a rose very much in fragrances, but this fragrance, it's so positive. It's rose, super modern, super light, fun. I would see it on quite a young person and usually rose fragrances can be a bit vintagey smelling or like soap, like grandma's soap, whereas this is so fun, so fresh. I love the simplicity of it. I think it would be perfect for work, school, really casual but really good fragrance. Next fragrance is Super Cedar. This is a scent that when it first got released, I remember going and smelling it uh, at Liberty's, I think it was 2015 or something. And this scent, I was quite disappointed at first because I was expecting it to be like woods, just like very woody scent. Whereas this is such a light scent. The only issue uh, with this one is the projection and the long lasting power. There's nearly none, but the scent itself, it's so good. Now I really appreciate it. It's a very clean, light scent. It kind of smells like the Molecule fragrances or um, a number 13 by the Labo. This is the scent. I've got it here. It's so light, creamy, and just smells like your skin, but better. 
and I love wearing it and reapplying it throughout the day and if I really crave a fragrance to layer under other fragrances or if I want to smell just clean but not necessarily like oh my gosh I'm wearing flowers and woods and everything on myself then this is the scent I would go for and I think this is a scent that is super underrated and I love it. Next we're getting to my favorite favorites. This is De Los Santos. This is one of the newest releases and I smelt it. I bought it the same day. I mean this is stunning. Mm. This is so sexy. To me this is a sexy ass scent. It smells. I've got I can smell some tea in here, like black tea. I've got sandalwood in here, which is slightly bit coconutty. It's fresh, it's super spicy. It's like Lilabo, but somebody took Lilabo and made it a bit more coconutty and gave it some tea accords in there. It's so intensely woody and it does smell a bit like cough syrup in the best way possible because cough syrup has got so many um, beautiful things in it like loads of um, plants <laughs> I couldn't think of the word loads of plants and herbs and this is what it smells like very androgynous very unisex but so sexy and intense this one lasts and lasts and it is perfect layered with my number one fragrance they smell so good so wait until the one number one because they both of them together i mean i'm in heaven next is a fragrance that not everybody will like but this is totally worth the money for that reason because it's so unusual pulp from byredo smells like rotten fruit but it's so good if you get it you get it and you're obsessed with it if you don't you think oh my gosh why did anybody make a fragrance like this so for that reason i think it's totally worthy on this list because it has to be in here it makes fragrances fun to have like an old smelling fragrance i love it i think it's such a fun and different scent it doesn't smell literally like a rotten fruit it's kind of like overripe fruit and they're just so juicy and they are just warmed by the sun they smell so 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 good so i love the scent but let me know in the comments if you hate it because those of you might hate it. Next is also a new release from the house. It's Sundazed. Sundazed to me is a very fun fragrance. Again, very fun, unique. It's a summer fragrance with a bit of candy flow sweetness, but the sweetness is super airy, super light. You've got a bit of like aquaticness to it. So this is a fragrance if you love sweet fragrances, but if you want something for the summertime, and if you want something that smells like beach cocktails, just fun time this is a perfect holiday fragrance like if you're going with your girlfriends on a fun trip this is the scent that will just make those memories last for you and uh, yeah it's awesome and unique next up is the og fragrance from byredo gypsy water this is the fragrance i remember just watching all the vloggers back in the day wearing this. I remember Tanya Burr and Zoella, they would always like wear this fragrance, remember? And I couldn't afford it, but I was like, oh, one day I'll afford it. And this scent is spiky, it's foresty, it's super transparent, woody. You probably know what it smells like. It's great, doesn't last whatsoever, but the scent itself, I really love wearing it. I've worn through more than half a bottle of this. This is my scent of like, I'm out of the shower and I just want to quickly apply any fragrance because I'm running out of the door and I want to smell like I just smell great. Not necessarily, um, I don't want to smell like I'm wearing fragrance, but I want to smell just good. This is a very natural, foresty, spiky fragrance with a bit of sweetness. Love this one, longevity isn't great and loads of people wear it. So that's why it's not on number one spot because I think too many people do wear it, um, but I hope it's not on the less. And number two spot is my beloved Bol d'Afrique. I think this fragrance is an awesome 
summer or all year round scent. It's tropical, it's loud, it's super projecting and although I think that a lot of um, by Redress fragrances they're not super strong or projecting this one, the performance is great, the scent is nice. It's almost kind of like a ripened banana tropical sort of a scent. You feel like you're on holiday, you feel fun, you feel confident because of the strength of this fragrance. I love this one. You can wear it as a guy, as a woman, like it's very fluid in that sense. So this is my number two spot. But my number one and perfect layering partner to De Los Santos is me it's 11th hour to me this scent is super unique it's not as popular as gypsy water performance is great and it's amazing for layering oh, try it guys it's rum figs and spiciness in here it sounds like quite an intense scent but i would say it is a scent that you can wear in the summer you can wear it in the winter you can wear it whenever and it's so good that fig in here and that rum it's so boozy on the skin but still very fresh i remember my friend saying oh my gosh this is such a unique scent and it is but it's i think everybody should try this one and especially layering these two together adds that rum and fig to this super intense herbal scent and woody scent that they both of them just smell super super great together so if you're into layering scents maybe you own one or two of them these two are just the love of my life let me know what is your favorite by Redo fragrance down below and if you agree with my rating or if you maybe disagree completely follow me on instagram at monica underscore choc where i post a bit more about my life you can ask me questions about fragrances and stuff so i'd love to see you there and yeah subscribe to this channel and i hope to see you very very soon bye guys